It's time to say bye to my iPhone 6s Plus and hello to my iPhone 12 Pro. So let's finally unbox this phone. <sighs> iPhone 12 Pro. It is absolutely beautiful in sapphire blue. I'm obsessed with the color. It is so much prettier in person. It's more like a matte blue actually and there's some shiny parts with the three cameras. I can't wait to use this camera with all these lenses. It is definitely an upgrade to my iPhone 6s Plus single lens so quality of video is going to be so much better with my TikToks and I just love how it feels. It feels much more grip. It's not too slick so with compared to my iPhone 6s Plus, it is much more slippery than the iPhone 12 Pro is. Side by side, you can see the iPhone 6s Plus is bigger than the 12 Pro, of course, but honestly, it's not that big of a difference. And the whole thing is that the screen, there's no much more white space. So over on the sides, you can tell that there is no more curved edges. It's more like a rectangle like the iPhone 5 Plus was. The buttons feel so much more thinner and slick. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera. I'm surprised that the edges are curved. I thought the iPhone 12 Pro was gonna come like a corner or something but it's similar to the iPhone 6s plus where it's around on the corners here it is side by side and what's different is again there's no white space and I find that it looks so much better with no white space it's much more slick clean just aesthetically pleasing and I do not miss that at all of course the change is no button I'm so used to this button right here but now I don't have it so I had to probably swipe up or turn on the side button so to unlock the phone, I just tap up, face ID, and already the screen is so much more slick, much more pixelated and clear. I absolutely love it. It looks such an upgrade to my iPhone 6s Plus display. So of course, it's six generations apart, so there's big changes. Another change is I'm so used to the home screen at the very bottom, but of course it's not there anymore. It's actually at the top now, so that's what, something I had to get used to. However, it's not a big deal, but I believe when you tap on an app to exit that app, since there's no button anymore, you just have to swipe up and that's how you exit the app. Yeah, overall, really impressed with the design, the color, the display. However, one thing I wasn't excited about was this charging port. So if you haven't heard, they actually changed it to USB-C now. This end goes into the phone the same as it did in the past, but what changed is the other end. This is USB-C now, and the thing is, the iPhone 12 Pro box doesn't even come with a charging block. So I had to buy that off Amazon and that came in today so that way I can charge with this wire. So that was one minor inconvenience I wasn't super excited about, but it is what it is. So another thing I had to adjust to and wasn't super happy about is that there's no earphone jack. I know they took it out since I believe the iPhone 10, but since I was stuck with the iPhone 6s Plus for so long, I didn't really like need AirPods or anything and there's that earphone jack right there. But with my car, I actually have have aux cord I don't have Bluetooth so I had to buy that little connecting thing that goes into the charging port and will go into like earphones or an aux cord now with the boxes I'm not sure if you heard it is significantly thinner I have my dad's old iPhone SE box and you can see that the iPhone 12 Pro box is much more thinner than the iPhone SE length and width wise it's about the same <laughs> So with the iPhone 12 Pro, I got it in 128 gigabytes. My iPhone 6S Plus was in 64 and at first it was okay, but as I started making content on TikTok and take videos for YouTube, it always ran out of storage. So I definitely needed 128 gigabytes. As in for color, I'm still absolutely in love with this matte blue. In some angles, it's shiny, but mainly matte blue. I saw this one TikTok where this girl showed off her iPhone 12 Pro in gold, but had a certain filter to it. So I almost wanted to exchange my blue to the gold however I saw a comparison video between the sapphire blue and the gold and I absolutely love the blue so super happy with my color choice on the sides are the stainless steel and I'm surprised that there's not that much fingerprint on it so it's holding up really really well as for 5g I probably won't know too much about it until a couple months 
until they start introducing the 5G into Canada. Weight wise, it's actually kind of the same weight as my iPhone 6S Plus, even though it's a little bigger. However, I think it's the same weight as my other phone because of the stainless steel. However, it's not too heavy. I'm so glad I went with this size instead of the Pro Max because I already thought my iPhone 6S Plus was already big enough. So this is the perfect size for me and I'm absolutely happy with it. So I just finished filming and I'm about to edit but this is the front facing camera and already I love the quality of the front facing camera. I can't wait to make a bunch of TikTok videos with this. It's going to be so much easier and so much better. So yeah, I cannot wait to test out the camera of this and just, you know, have fun with this camera because it's the main reason why I bought the iPhone 12 Pro. What I really love about it is that there's an option for wide view, so here it is. Look at that, I did not move at all, so here it is back to normal. And then here you can just zoom in as well really quickly. So yeah, quality already is so much better and I already love it. Of course, there's 4K HD and I'm gonna do all of the tests and make an entire review in about a couple weeks after I use this a little bit more, but I can't wait to compare it to my iPhone 6S Plus once I start to use it. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. I'm also going to film and edit an entire YouTube video within the iPhone 12 Pro as well and see if it's possible and see if you can literally start a YouTube channel with just a phone. So I'm really excited for those videos and a bunch more. But anyways, that was my unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. However, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What the hell? You actually opened it? That's what it was! I thought you were going to do a couple practice ones and I was like, fuck, I, hope I don't fuck up. <laughs>